know, it, they look pretty bad. I mean, you end up with a lot of dryness on the hand because the hands are exposed. But also, I mean, you saw a lot of veins going on there. That's because the skin gets quite thin as we age, especially on our hands where we don't have a lot of flesh. As soon as that skin kind of begins to thin because we're losing some of those collagens and elastins, when it thins, it is more obvious than if it was thinning on our face because we have more flesh. Well, I in particular have a lot of flesh on me. But um, on hands, um, it really does begin to show. So what we want to do, of course, is to plump that back up. We want to give a, a more, more, more depth there because that is a, a, a key sign of an aging hand is that thinning and then the veins beginning to show. Obviously, you want to put moisture back in. But then on the other, other hand, you want to... I don't, know. <laughs> don't laugh at that. So, but we also want to stop the damage continuing. So we want to have an SPF in there. We want to have a way to stop that damage continuing. And also we want to try and even tone and lighten. So when we started this and tried to think of a product, it just didn't work because there were too many things in there and also too many temperamental ingredients that would need to go into there to make it work. It turns out that most ingredients and drugs for that matter that um, you want to use, the better they are, the more temperamental and high maintenance they happen to be. Um, so what we did, of course, which is the way that we think about things in small term med therapy, let's split this into two products and have the best that we can in the two individual products, and then we can bring everything we need to the table. So the first one is truly putting that moisture back into the hand. So what you have here is, you may not have heard of this, NMFs. NMFs are natural moisturizing factors. They're your body's way of keeping your skin moist from the inside out, and that's what gives you your barrier function. So every day, all day, your body is producing a wider range of factors than are made within your body that gradually get processed until they reach your skin, and then they are kind of leached out into your skin, and they serve um, to protect your skin from, um, from the elements and give you that barrier function. There are amino acids in there, there are lipids in there, there's a wide range of signaling molecules in there, there's a lot that goes on um, to, to give you your skin protection that you have. What we're doing is we're replenishing that with this, we're giving you back that barrier function. And for the plumping, um, there's a sericin peptide which is per, um, purposely in here to do exactly that. And there are optical brightness, the reason for that is you get a very demonstrable and immediate effect because you get a, an evening of the tone with these optical brightness. So this is a very interesting product because as soon as you put it on, you can see a difference. It's amazing how quickly you can moisturize the skin. You just put this on and you see a difference immediately. So what's the other part of this? This is so cool. This is the stick. And the most important thing here is the vitamin C. And it's down here is ascorbic acid. 4% ascorbic acid. In a skincare product, in a lotion, in a cream, in whatever that might be, in an aqueous format, you cannot do this. Because ascorbic acid, vitamin C, is unstable if it is in um, an aqueous or water environment. So what we had to do was we had to put it in an anhydrous stick a stick that doesn't contain water. Now the combination of the vitamin C in a stick that doesn't contain water, we can actually have it in there and it's stable. So there are very few products you would ever see that has this concentration of vitamin C. Why do we want this concentration? Because this is the concentration that works. We could have had um, a, a fancy um, scented thick lotion kind of store-bought product and put 4% vitamin C in, it would never have worked, but it would have been a marketing ploy. And you see that either. Or the other way that, that other companies do it is they put a lower concentration of vitamin C in, which, which doesn't ruin the product, it just doesn't go brown, it, it, it stays in there, but it's not active and it's at too low of a concentration. So this is in fact the only way that you can find the, can combine the right amount of vitamin C in a product that can deliver it. Peptides, of course, in here, they're restoring that um, 
They're restoring that, that youthful nature of the skin by stimulating those collagen and elastins and laminins. And then Shield RF, the coolest thing ever, Shield RF. Ava benzone and colorless carotenoids together produce that broad spectrum, um, high level skin protection against UV radiation, broad spectrum. So UVA, UVB, protecting you across all of those wavelengths because Ava benzone, as you've heard before, is an unstable molecule and it's actually stabilized by the colorless carotenoids. A beautiful combination which is shield our up. So we've got the high end. UV protection, we have the peptides to start giving that long-term stimulation, and then we have the um, vitamin C that is giving you that, that, that brightening, that evening of those, those different pigment levels that you have on, on the back of your hand are right there. Now, how does this work? Well, as I've told you, the vitamin C is stable when it's in that stick. So you put the, you put, um, the moisturizer on first, number one, then roll the stick over the back of your hand and as that stick comes in contact with the moisture now on the back of your hand for the moisturization, that vitamin C is released into that moisture le level, it becomes active and you get the effect because it's a combination of the two things. In the stick, the vitamin C is locked in and then as you use it on your hand. So the, the key here is to use that moisturizer first because kind of scraping it over dry skin isn't really going to give you that true activation of the vitamin C. And demonstrable effect. I, I mean, I don't know if anybody here hasn't tried it, but the thing of, of doing it on one hand and comparing it to the other is just incredible. And in fact, a lot of people who have used it, especially and some people have used it um, like met since convention, you can act, when you shake their hand, you can actually feel whether they've been using the product or not. It really has a very, very demonstrable change in the sensation of somebody's hand. And as um, Ali said, we're already, um, we're already out there with it being picked up um, by the media. And what you can see here is, and, and probably this, this might be a long way away for, for uh, some of you, but you know, we have a lot of pictures of, of um, of the effect of this, not only from this higher level, but then, then focusing in on certain parts of skin. But what I like to do is just look at the, I never know which fingers are called which, but the third one from the left, if you can, some, um, that middle one. Now. If you look just where that knuckle is, and then look at that right hand side, you can actually see that that kind of that dry, the dry nature of that skin has really become, become moisturized. It's a much healthier looking hand. The tone is being evened out. It really is changing, and, and it, you can actually see it happen straight away. So it, it, it's a go. This is four weeks, but as soon as you start using that, you, you begin to see the difference. Now, how to use this is obviously um, during the day you want to get, go to be wanting to put both products on, getting that SPF, getting that sun protection, as well as getting the moisturization, and then at night just using the moisturizer. Um, at the end of the day, will allow that to work and give you back those um, that, that moisture level that you're really looking for. Um, with dimethicone and hyaluronic acid really boosting up um, the barrier function. So by the time the next day comes around, you really do have um, a healthier uh, skin there. So what does this mean? Of course, it means big business. What else would it mean?